Today I'm going to look at how to use 123D Catch and Daz Studio to create the image you see on the left here. And this part one is going to be looking at how to create or capture rather the background architecture. So the purpose, as I say, is to demonstrate how easy a reasonably good free 3D background object can be created for use in Daz 3D. So Daz Studio, I've mentioned it before, it's a great free tool, creates 3D images. You can use it uh, the images in your books and everything. It's great. One, two, three D catch again. Another free tool, uh, but it does require that you have the internet to be able to use it because it uses um, servers at Autodesk. Now the materials that you'll want, you want to obviously have the software that I mentioned. You want a camera and you want some kind of computer. Just go and download those things uh, and install them. So yeah, the prerequisite, make sure you've installed both of them onto your computer. Right, yeah, the steps we're going to do, we're going to take the photos of a suitable church window. We're going to then create what's called an FBX file um, of the window. It's an object file. We're going to then import that object file into DAS Studio and then reorient and uh, resize it. So these are the photos I took. Notice how I went from left to right. Uh, just went down to a local church and did them. So now we open up the program. There it is. Then we're going to click here at this place where it says get started. You're going to upload your photos. You're going to be asked to provide a name and a password. You can use your Facebook account if you want. Uh, yeah, an email is something which they also require from you so they can contact you. Uh, then there's your photos. You pick the photos. Um, there's the eight there that I showed you before. Uh, yep, then you just click the open button and they'll then be put there yeah and once you're happy with them you just cre do, click the create project and once you've done that they'll all be uploaded and you then ha you have to wait frequently for quite a while it's not going to happen straight away so yeah but when it does come back you'll end up being given something like this it's a project file notice down there there's a whole little range of cameras there's some photographs down the bottom Basically, it's figured out which camera angle each of the photographs were taken from. You then go up, you're going to go to File, you're going to go to Export Capture As, and you're going to pick something which is Autodesk FBX and just give it a name. Make sure you know, by the way, where you've saved this. So as I say, make sure you notice where you've saved it. Sometimes I just save it and I can't find it for the life of me. Now, once we've done that, we open Daz, Daz Studio, and here we are going. We're going to go import it in. Ah, luckily, that I knew where it was. It's going to come up with that little dialogue. Ignore it. Just go okay. And that tiny thing down at the bottom there, you can see, that's your object. Yep, there it is. So what we need to do is re resize it. So we go into the editor, and as you can see, at the top is scale. So I'm starting to make it larger. I'm going to rotate it because it's coming at a strange angle. Uh, this is where it becomes a bit of an art form, trying to actually get it up to a um, angle where it's you where it's easy to use. But look, look already looking at that. Doesn't that look quite good as a three D object? So I'm fiddling around. I think I think I might have to end up going down to the object itself and just twisting it because this just isn't working, I'm trying to use these things. They are pretty good, but sometimes they just don't work. So there you go, I've grabbed it, dragging it around, trying to get it so that it's um, nice and balanced. Uh, yeah, it might make it a little bit bigger. So yep, there you go, oh, is that too big? I'm not sure. So yeah, already that looks a pretty good 3D object, as you can see. So, now, I'm just going to What am I doing here? Oh, that's getting ready for the next bit, which I'm going to be adding that active. I'm not going to do that straight away. I might just um, 
work out a little bit more. We'll move the scale, we'll move it backwards a bit. See how we can see things move them up and down and backwards and forwards. So that one, I want to move that backwards so when I put a person in, it's not right in the middle. Anyway, the next thing I will be adding the person, I will pose them and I'll play with some light to have a better sense of realism.